up in Cumbria. That was one thing that I enjoyed at Palace. It reminded me of my area from home, people sort of supporting their local club and that working class background. And that is something that made me feel at home at Palace. Coming of age at 18 and going into the men's game, just got into a job that was going to keep me in a factory for my working life basically. Chatting to the old guys there that, that had done 40 years and that, I was like, I don't want that to be me. I got the opportunity to go out to America and, and play for Wilmington Hammerheads. A steady rise, I suppose, from like Unibond first, the Unibond Premier, to the Conference North, Conference, League Two, League One, then eventually on to Palace. I joined Brighton in League One. Never came across Palace in the league. I didn't realise to the extent of the rivalry. Luckily for me, and probably unfortunate for the fans, I've had great times at both Brighton and Palace, given 100%. I think probably both sets of fans have appreciated that. Glenn, he was a miserable guy, typical Dow Northerner. Dougie said, I'm sticking you two Northerners in together because you're the only one that's going to get a smile out of him, and I think I was. Because he was my tea boy in the room. <laughs> I used to make him make me teas on Friday nights. Drinking a cup of tea just sums Glenn up. I haven't really got a favourite brand, uh, but I've got Yorkshire in the cupboard. In training, Glenn would do nothing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But then in games, he's unbelievable. Everything just clicked into place, and it was just one of the best seasons of my life. Last of the old-fashioned number nines left in the world, to be honest with you. And he held the ball up great and, and he scored goals. That front three was as potent as I've ever seen in the championship. Once you whip that ball in, Glenn is always in the right place. Like, his movement was a joke. Glenn's not the fastest, he's not the strongest, but he's so intelligent in the way he plays. Marie! Oh, fabulous! That screamer on his left, swinger. <laughs> he's right behind it, thinking, don't shoot from there, Mars. <laughs> Hitting 30, that was magical, once in a career thing. And I was actually disappointed I only got 30 that season because I'd scored 20 by Christmas. And a huge cheer around Southhurst Park now is Glenn Murray his first appearance this season as the Palace fans so glad to have him back here's his moment and he makes no mistake Glenn Murray scores in the top flight and that could be crucial for Crystal Palace Adriano stayed Murray's won the header and it's bounced in a group of men that were willing to work for one another. He became a close you know, family friend as well as a, as a teammate. Always found him to be a really intelligent guy, a really, really nice guy. It's Glenn Murray and Crystal Palace lead by three goals to one. They've done it in style. I think whenever you achieve in football, for me, it's not so much about celebrating but just that moment of, of calm and knowing that you've done your job and yeah it's just it's just that moment of peace.